Welcome to a mini devlog to the DK Wrangle version 0 to 4. So here are the new developments. When you select a new file or make a change to its content, it now analyzes that content and gives you a readout. The current library that is available with the asset contains 47 snippets right now and is growing each day. You now have two more buttons in the loading tab, override and delete. Override gives you a quick way to update the content of a snippet. Maybe this example of add point is not enough for you. Make it clear that this is a vector. Or write a comment to describe what it does. Then hit override. Now this snippet is yours. Forever. Until you delete it. Done. The next feature was chosen by my dev team on Patreon. They wanted the option to merge different libraries. That way they can build their own and still grab new entries from the files I provide. Let's give that a quick test. This file has already two additional snippets. Let's add something else, maybe a new context. Pick a name and a label. Save it. And these two snippets are so awesome that we want them. Hit load new. This button makes sure that you only take those entries that your own file doesn't know yet. But you can also use the load and override button. Even if it already has an entry with that name, it gets overridden. With two identical files, that's all of them. And finally, I want to show you an addition for the future that I'm working on. It is actually already working when it comes to the asset itself, but it still needs work on the backend. Let's just delete a few entries here. And now just for demonstration, this would be your own file. And I just gave notice to my patrons that I updated my library, hosted online. If you're one of my patrons, at some point you can go to my page for easy access of exclusive content. But you will also get a token, basically a password, that you can use for this and all the future exclusive features I come up with. Paste in your token and email, and again you have the load new and override options. But this time it uses the online file as a source, making it convenient to get new entries into your own library. I am having fun building this tool, and I look forward for the next directions from my dev team. But I have to thank all of my patrons for the support I get from them. You make it possible for me to learn, teach and create. I see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.